Welcome to my channel, Wyma Pro Tech. How to fix Roku that won't turn on if your Roku won't turn on. Start by checking the power source and connections. Ensure the power cable is securely plugged in and try using a different outlet. For Roku TVs, look for standby lights or any flickering that might signal power issues. If using a remote, replace its batteries. Lastly, perform a factory reset if necessary. Check the power source. Ensure your Roku is properly connected to a power source. If using a USB power option, make sure it's connected to a power adapter rather than your TV, as some TVs might not provide enough power. Try switching to a different power outlet to rule out any issues with the outlet itself. Use the original power adapter. If you're using a replacement power adapter, it might not be compatible with your Roku. Use the original power adapter as it supplies the correct voltage and current, ensuring stable operation. Inspect the power cable. The power cable may be damaged or loose. Carefully inspect the cable for any frays or visible damage. Try a different power cable if available, as a faulty cable can prevent your Roku from receiving power. Reset the power connection. Disconnect your Roku from the power source and leave it unplugged for at least 10 seconds. Plug it back in and try turning it on. This quick reset can help refresh the device and fix minor glitches. Try a different HDMI port for Roku streaming sticks. If you're using a Roku streaming stick, it might be an issue with the HDMI port on your TV. Try plugging the stick into a different HDMI port and see if the device powers up. You can also test it on a different TV to rule out a faulty port on your primary TV. Check for remote issues. A malfunctioning remote might make it seem like your Roku won't turn on. Ensure the remote has fresh batteries and is working properly. If you're using the Roku app as a remote, make sure your mobile device is connected to the same network as your Roku. Reset the Roku device. Find the reset button on your Roku device, usually located on the back or bottom of the device. Press and hold it for about 10-15 seconds. Release the button when the indicator light or LED blinks, which means the device has restarted. Look for overheating issues. Overheating can cause your Roku to shut down or fail to turn on. If your Roku feels unusually hot, unplug it and allow it to cool down for a few minutes. Place the device in a well-ventilated area to prevent overheating issues in the future. Check for firmware updates. If you manage to get the device to turn on temporarily, check for firmware updates by going to Settings, System, System Update. Updating the firmware can help resolve any software-related issues that may be preventing your Roku from functioning correctly. Contact Roku Support. If you've tried all the above steps and your Roku still won't turn on, it may be a hardware issue. Contact Roku Customer Support for assistance. They can help diagnose the issue or arrange for a repair or replacement if your device is still under warranty. By following these troubleshooting steps, you should be able to identify the cause of the issue and potentially resolve it without needing a replacement. How to fix sharp Roku TV. Red light blinking error. If your sharp Roku TV is experiencing a red light blinking error code 10, it typically signals an issue with the power supply or a potential software glitch. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to troubleshoot and potentially fix this problem. Check for power supply issues. The blinking red light can often be caused by insufficient power. Start by verifying that your TV is getting enough power. Power outlet test. Ensure that the power outlet is working correctly by plugging another device into the same outlet to see if it powers on. If not, try another outlet. Surge protector or extension cord. If the TV is connected to a power strip or extension cord, consider plugging it directly into a wall outlet. Some strips can cause a drop in power, leading to the blinking red light error. Use the original power cable. Always use the original power cord that came with the TV, as third-party cables may not provide adequate power. Restart the TV sometimes. Simply restarting the TV can clear temporary glitches. Unplug the TV. Turn off the TV and unplug it from the power outlet. Wait for about 1 to 2 minutes to allow residual power to drain completely. Plug it back in. After a couple of minutes, plug the TV back in and turn it on. Check if the red light blinking issue is resolved. Inspect the power cord and adapter. Look over the power cord and adapter for any visible damage. Look for frays or cracks. Check for any signs of wear, fraying, or damage on the power cord. Even small cracks can cause inconsistent power flow. Try a new adapter. If you suspect the adapter might be faulty, 
You may need to try using a compatible power adapter. Make sure any replacement adapter is compatible with your Sharp Roku TV model. Perform a factory reset. A factory reset can help clear software bugs or corrupted settings that may be triggering the red light error. Note that this will delete all settings and installed apps, restoring the TV to its default settings. Locate the reset button. Most Sharp Roku TVs have a small reset button on the back or side panel. Press and hold. Use a paper clip or pen to press and hold the reset button for about 20 seconds. The TV will restart automatically once the reset is complete. Reconfigure your settings. After the reset, you'll need to go through the initial setup process and reconnect to your Wi-Fi network. Update the firmware. Outdated firmware can sometimes cause unexpected errors. If possible, check for and install any available software updates. Navigate to Settings. Go to Settings, System, System Update. Check for updates. Select Check Now to see if there is a firmware update available. If there is, install it and wait for the TV to restart. Remove connected devices. Certain connected devices, such as USB drives or HDMI devices, can occasionally interfere with the TV's normal operation. Remove all external devices to rule out this possibility. Disconnect all devices, unplug any HDMI cables, USB devices, or external sound systems. Restart the TV. Once all devices are removed, turn the TV off and back on to see if the error resolves. Inspect the internal components. Advanced. If you're comfortable opening up the TV, or have a professional technician do this, you can check for internal issues, such as loose wires or connections. Sometimes internal wires or connections can come loose, causing power issues. Capacitor issues. Faulty capacitors can disrupt power flow. If a capacitor looks swollen or damaged, it may need replacement. This is best handled by a professional technician. Check for overheating issues. Overheating can cause the TV's protection circuit to trigger the red light error. Ensure the TV has adequate ventilation. Ventilation. Make sure the TV is in a well-ventilated area and not too close to walls or other devices. Fan inspection. Some models have a cooling fan. If this fan is faulty, it can cause overheating. This should also be checked by a technician. Contact Roku Support or Sharp Customer Service. If the above steps don't resolve the issue, it may be time to reach out for professional assistance. Roku Support. Roku Support may be able to guide you through further troubleshooting steps or offer firmware solutions specific to your model. Sharp Customer Service. Contact Sharp's Customer Service if your TV is still under warranty, as they may repair or replace it. Consider repair or replacement options. If the red light blinking error persists despite trying all troubleshooting methods, you might be dealing with a significant internal problem. Consider taking the TV to an authorized repair center, where a professional can assess and potentially replace any faulty components. In summary, the blinking red light error code 10 on Sharp Roku TVs often points to power-related or software issues. By following these steps, you can identify and potentially resolve the issue. However, if all else fails, contacting customer support or a repair technician may be the best course of action to restore your TV's functionality. To fix a Roku TV with no picture, black screen, or flickering error, first try restarting the TV by unplugging it for 10 seconds, then plug it back in. Check HDMI connections and ensure the input source is correct. If flickering persists, update the firmware or reset the TV to factory settings from the system menu. Check HDMI connections. Ensure that all HDMI cables are properly connected between your Roku TV and any devices, e.g. cable box, Blu-ray player, gaming console. Loose or damaged cables can cause a black screen or flickering issues. Unplug and replug the HDMI cable to secure the connection and switch to a different HDMI port if needed. Change HDMI cable. A faulty or low-quality HDMI cable can cause flickering or loss of picture. Try using a different HDMI cable to see if the problem is resolved. High-speed HDMI cables are recommended for better signal transmission, especially for HD or 4K content. Restart the TV power. Cycling your Roku TV is often the simplest and most effective solution for many screen issues. To do this, Unplug your Roku TV from the power outlet. Wait about 30 seconds to 1 minute. Plug it back in and turn the TV on. This can clear temporary glitches that may be causing the black screen or flickering. Update Roku software. Outdated software can cause display issues. Check for software updates by going to Settings, System, System Update. 
Ensure your Roku TV has the latest version installed, as updates often include fixes for bugs that might be causing black screen or flickering problems. Adjust display settings. Incorrect display settings can sometimes lead to flickering or a black screen. Go to Settings Display Type and make sure the appropriate display resolution is selected in ARD 720p, 1080p, or 4K. Try lowering the display resolution to see if this resolves the issue. Check for power issues. Sometimes power surges or issues with the power supply can affect your TV. If the screen flickers or goes black intermittently, try plugging your TV into a different power outlet. Use a surge protector to avoid damage from electrical fluctuations. Factory Reset the Roku. TV if the problem persists. Performing a factory reset can help resolve deeper system issues. This will erase all settings and return your TV to its default state. Go to Settings Board System. Advanced System Settings. Factory Reset. Enter the provided code and confirm the reset. After the reset, you will need to set up your Roku TV again, but this often fixes persistent screen issues. Disable Advanced Picture Settings. Some advanced picture settings can cause display issues like flickering or color problems. Try disabling settings like motion smoothing or HDR to see if it improves the display. To access these settings, go to Settings, Advanced Picture Settings. Test with different input source. The problem might be with the input source rather than the Roku TV itself. Try switching to another input source, like a gaming console or DVD player, to see if the black screen or flickering occurs. If the problem only happens with a specific source, the issue may lie with that device, not the TV. Contact Roku support or manufacturer. If none of the above solutions work, there may be a deeper hardware issue with your Roku TV. In such cases, contacting Roku support or the TV manufacturer for further assistance is recommended. They may advise professional repair or replacement of the TV, especially if it's still under warranty. In conclusion, a black screen or flickering error on your Roku TV can often be resolved through basic troubleshooting steps, like checking HDMI connections, power cycling, or adjusting display settings. If these don't work, updating software, performing a factory reset, or contacting support may be necessary. How to set up Roku TV step-by-step -step from the beginning. Unpack Roku TV, insert batteries in remote. Connect TV to power and turn on. Choose language, connect to Wi-Fi, Create or link Roku account. Select TV input, cable, antenna, etc. Add streaming channels. Customize home screen. Adjust picture settings if needed. Start streaming. For detailed instructions, consult user manual or Roku's website. Unpack and place your TV. Carefully remove your Roku TV from its packaging. Choose a suitable location for your TV, ensuring it's near a power outlet and has good ventilation. If wall mounting, follow the manufacturer's instructions. Otherwise, attach the TV stand according to the included guidelines. Connect power and turn on. Plug the power cord into your TV and then into a wall outlet. If your remote came with batteries, insert them. Press the power button on your remote or the TV itself to turn it on. Choose your language. When your Roku TV first boots up, you'll be prompted to select your preferred language. Use the arrow keys on your remote to navigate and press OK to confirm your selection. Set up network connection. Choose your network connection type, either wired, ethernet, or wireless, Wi-Fi. For wired, simply connect an ethernet cable. For Wi-Fi, select your network from the list and enter the password when prompted. Software update. Your Roku TV will check for any available software updates. If found, it will download and install them automatically. This process may take a few minutes, so be patient and don't turn off your TV. Screen calibration. Follow the on-screen instructions to adjust your TV picture. This includes setting the correct aspect ratio and adjusting the display to fit your screen properly. Input setup. Your TV will detect active inputs, like cable boxes, game consoles, or DVD players, connected to its ports. Name these inputs for easy identification later. If you haven't connected devices yet, you can skip this step and do it later. Antenna setup, if applicable. If you're using an antenna for over-the-air broadcasts, connect it to your TV's coaxial input. Then, select Antenna TV from the input list and follow the prompts to scan for channels. Link your Roku account. You'll be prompted to link your Roku TV to a Roku account. If you don't have one, you'll need to create one. This account allows you to manage your device, add channels, and make purchases. 
You'll receive a code on your TV screen. Go to Roku.com link on a mobile device or computer. Sign in and enter this code. Customize your home screen. Once setup is complete, you'll see the Roku home screen. Here you can add or remove streaming channels, rearrange icons, and customize your viewing experience. Popular channels like Netflix or Hulu may already be present, but you can add more from the channel store. Additional tips. If you encounter any issues during setup, consult your TV's user manual or visit Roku's support website. Ensure your internet connection is stable throughout the setup process. Take time to explore Roku's features, like the free Roku channel for ad-supported content. Consider downloading the Roku mobile app for additional features like private listening through headphones. Regularly check for system updates to ensure you have the latest features and security patches. If you plan to use external speakers or a sound bar, set these up after completing the initial TV setup. Remember, the exact steps might vary slightly depending on your specific Roku TV model, but this guide covers the general process. After completing these steps, your Roku TV should be ready for you to enjoy a wide range of streaming content and features. Don't hesitate to explore the settings menu to further personalize your TV experience, such as adjusting picture and sound settings to your liking. Hope you like this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.